Welcome to the spoken tutorial on introduction to flow sheeting in DWSIM. In this tutorial, we will simulate a mixer, follow it up with a flash separator, learn how to give a two-phase feed. To record this tutorial, I am using DWSIM 3.4. To practice this tutorial, you should have an exposure to DWSIM. The prerequisite tutorials are mentioned on our website spoken-tutorial.org. Let me open DWSIM. I have already opened a file flow begin with two material streams. I have selected Raoult's law and the CGS system. I went through the file menu and the open option to get this. Let me close this. This file is available at our spoken tutorial website. You may download this file and use it or you can manually enter the required information. You can see two streams, inlet 1 and inlet 2 in the flow sheet canvas. The next slide summarizes the contents of this file. When we mix these streams, we get equimolar composition. We have chosen these values to easily verify the calculations of DWC. Let us go back to DWC. We will now modify the streams so as to have vapor in them. Select inlet 1. At the top of the properties tab, locate specification. Click on it, press the down arrow and choose pressure and vapor fraction. Scroll down and locate molar fraction vapor phase. Enter 1 here. That is, the entire stream is vapor. In a similar way, make inlet 2 to have 50% mole fraction. Now let us insert a mixer to the flow sheet. Locate the mixer from the object palette. It is the third entry. Click and drag it to the flow sheet. Let us change the name of the mixer now. Click on the Appearance tab, delete the default name and enter Mixer. Now let us insert an output stream for the mixer. Click on Material Stream and drag it to the flow sheet. We will close the automatic pop-up and not enter anything. Because all output streams should be left unspecified. We will change the name of the stream to Mixer Out. Let me connect the streams to the mixer. Let me click the mixer once. Properties show up in the selected object window. You can see the mixer has up to six inlet streams. Let us click on inlet stream one. A down arrow appears indicating a menu. Click this arrow and choose inlet one. Similarly, connect inlet 2 at inlet stream 2. Locate the outlet port mentioned as connected to outlet here. Click on it and choose mixer out. We can move the streams to make them better aligned. The mixer is red as it is not calculated yet. To right of the configure simulation button is calculator. It has several options. The first one is the play button to activate the solver. Press it. Two buttons to the right of this is for recalculate action. Click this button. The mixer has become blue now. It means that the calculations are completed. Now click on mixer out stream. We can see its calculated values in the properties tab we can verify that its composition is as expected. Double click mixture. It has equimolar composition. Now let us insert a flash separator. Let us scroll down the object palette. Let us locate separator vessel. It can be used to simulate VLE, LLE and VLLE systems. 
click and drag it to the flow sheet. We need to connect two output streams to the separator. Let us drag the material stream. We will leave it unspecified as its properties are yet to be calculated. We will name it as vapor. Similarly, create another stream and name it as liquid. Let us now connect the streams to the separator. In the first input port, we will connect mixer out. We can connect a total of 5 more input streams. The separator mixes all the streams and separates. As a matter of fact, a separate mixer is not really required. It also has a port to connect an energy stream, as we can see now. These ideas will be taken up in the assignment section. Let us connect the vapor stream to the vapor outlet port. Similarly, connect the liquid stream. Once again, we can move the items for better alignment. Notice that DWSIM completed the calculations automatically. You are free to press the recalculate button also. In fact, you should do this whenever you are in doubt. We now check whether the vapor and liquid are split properly in the separator. Let us look at the vapor phase small fractions of the stream vapor. The mole fraction of benzene is 0.54. Let us check whether this is in agreement with what mixer out has. You can see that DWSIM automatically displays vapor value. The benzene mole fraction is 0.54. This is an indirect evidence that the separator is working as expected. We can do a check on the working of the mixer also. You can see the mixture composition is equimolar as expected. We will postpone a few other checks to the assignment section. Let us save this file using the save as option. I will save it as flow end. I suggest that you keep saving your work frequently. Let me summarize. We defined a simple flow sheet. We explained how to create mixed feed, introduced mixer and separator, showed how to connect them, explained how to simulate. Let me give some assignments. The assignment in this slide has to do with mass balances. I use blue color to indicate streams and equipment. Let us go to the next assignment. You have to verify mole fractions as mentioned in this slide. The third assignment has to do with the separator. Recall that we mentioned that it could be used to mix streams. Remove the mixer and mixer out and try it out. In the next assignment, you will do the separation at a higher temperature. Click on separator. Let's scroll up. Let us change the override separation temperature to true. In the resulting field, change the value to 100. Bring energy stream from object palette to the flow sheet. This is a new stream. Connect this stream to the energy stream of the separator, which I showed earlier. Simulate and analyze your results. This is summarized in the slide here. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you may download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials. Give certificates. Please contact us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from the FOSSE team will answer them. Please visit this site. The FOSSE team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. 
For more details, please visit this site. The FOSI team helps migrate commercial simulator labs to DWSIM. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. For more details, please visit this site. Spoken Tutorial and FOSI projects are funded by NMEICT MHRD, Government of India. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.